Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for my review of the Chelsea versus Tottenham game in the semi-final of the FA Cup and we won 4-2 and as you can probably you know hear and see from my excitement <laughs> I'm fucking buzzing I am fucking buzzing and um I cannot believe it I could literally not believe it getting into the game first of all the lineup I was like what what what's going on is Conte off his head because um you know obviously you can see it or here it's always here um but, you know, we left Hazard and Costa. I'm not sure if they were carrying some sort of knock. Uh, I mean, I can understand Costa, as I said yesterday in the, in the preview. I can understand if he gets dropped. But Hazard? Why are we dropping Hazard? It's really confusing. Um, so it was called to goal. Nathan Aki came in for the ill um, Gary Cahill, playing left side of centre-back. David Luiz in the middle and Cesar Spilicuet as the right side of centre-back. Marcus Alonso and Victor Moses, the two wing-backs. Nemanja Matic next to N'Golo Kante the two central midfielders. And then the front three um, were Pedro, Michi Batshuayi and Willian. And, um, you know, it started off really well. <laughs> like, incredibly well. Five minutes in, already 1-0 up after a great Willian free kick. Um, also, the build-up to the free kick was really good. Aki played a long ball to Michi Batshuayi, who back it to Pedro, who went on the run, then got brought down by other virals. Um, and then Williams stood up to the free kick and we, we did that really smart. Uh, we put a lot of our men next to their uh, wall. So um, Loris literally didn't see a thing. And um, William put it in the goalkeeper's corner. Um, so like in the far corner from where he was stood. And Loris just didn't see anything. Couldn't do anything about it. Great finish. You know, obviously lucky in the sense because if, caught, if um, Loris see, sees something, um, you know, obviously he saves that. But, you know, it's smart. It's just really smart and it's a good free kick as well. Um, then after 18 minutes, you know, it was just an up and down, and especially after Tottenham scored um, in the 18th minute, Gary, um, Harry Kane made it 1-0. Not particularly great defending. They had a corner. We cleared that. It fell out to, I think, Trippier or whoever it was. We put in a cross. And then Nathan Aki, schoolboy defending. He just hit, basically hit behind um, Harry Kane. And um, Harry Kane got ahead to it very low on the floor, almost like had to lie down to get a touch to it. And just put it into the side netting of the far corner. Nothing caught I could have done about it. Silly error. Um, but, you know, now in hindsight speaking, well, it doesn't matter. doesn't <laughs> doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and then it was all Tottenham. Uh, rest of the first. It was all Tottenham. Um, you know, we weren't playing really well. Like what I predicted in the preview, they were overpowering us in midfield with Dembele and Wanyama. Kante had to do everything by himself because Matic just had one of his worst defensive displays I've ever seen. Uh, he just did, didn't do anything. He didn't get tight enough to anyone. He let them pass. He let them cross. You know, it was never going to work like that. But Tottenham didn't manage to score. They didn't even manage to have any proper chances. But in the 43rd minute, William made it 2-1 from a penalty. Um, you know, it is a penalty, but you could also give it as a dive by Moses. So Moses came down running on the right side, then... Human Son went down to a challenge, slide tackle, way too early. Um, Moses put it past um, his legs and just fell over them. He could easily have stepped over it, let's be honest. But, you know, he didn't. And I guess it is a penalty, but it is also a dive. Uh, I'm not sure on the rules there, but, you know, I'll take it. Obviously, I'll take it. Um, he did convert it. Not the greatest of penalties. Like, if Laurie saves that, we, we'd be shouting, what a shit penalty. But, you know, he scored it, and that's all that matters. Going into half time, I was like, well, we can't let another lead slip, really. But only... 42 minutes, uh, not 52 minutes, or so seven minutes after half time, um, Ali made it 2 all. Obviously, Delhi Ali, after, to be fair, an incredible assist by Christian Eriksen. You can't really defend that unless you get a lot tighter to Eriksen and you, you know, block his cross. Um, there's nothing you can do. Like, Ali's a bit quicker than our centre backs, and he's, he, he just made a great run. The pass was incredible and good finish as well. Nothing you can do about that. In the 61st minute, then. Diego Costa finally came on for Michi Bacuay, and even more so importantly, Hazard came on for William. I wasn't 100% sure why he came on for William, not for Pedro, because I felt William was having a much better game than Pedro. Um, but, you know, so be it. And then in the four, 74th minute, Fabregas came on for Pedro, making a switch to the 3-5-2, which, um, well, clearly worked wonders, because in the 75th minute, we waited 3-2. And would you believe it? From our first corner in the whole game, we scored. First, f first corner. Um, I think Fabregas put it in, um, someone got ahead to it, it fell to Hazard outside the box, who took it on, had a touch, and just had a beautiful left foot strike into the bottom corner, threw everyone, Loris again didn't do anything, um, if you're a Tottenham fan, and if you're neutral, you probably feel a bit sorry for Loris today, obviously I don't, um, but yeah, you know, nothing he could have done about it, great finish by Hazard, incredible, and you could just see how important he was to come on for the late stages of the game. And then 80th minute, I mean, let's just take a second to appreciate that goal. 
Nemanja Matic made it 4-2. Aiden Hazard just laid it off, probably about 25, 30 yards away from goal, just laid it off to Nemanja Matic. And Nemanja Matic just goes and hits it. And he puts it at the, you know, under thingy of the crossbar anyway. Went in, bounced in, and just, what's a screamer? I will try and, you know, find the picture of Zuma's reaction to the goal, because it's hilarious. No one, no one could believe it. Uh, like like I said, Matic was terrible all game long. And then he comes up with that. No criticism against the Manja Matic. Because if you do that, you know, and we win 4-2, you can play shit defensively as much as you like, mate. Uh, because that goal was out of this world. Out of this world. Um, but yeah, uh, so it ended 4-2. But again, you know, the whole second half, it was basically all Spurs. Until um, rather late in the second half. They took one arm off and after that we took control. Obviously the 4-2 the helped um, because obviously their heads dropped. But after they took one arm off, we took control. Um, especially with having three midfielders on then in Matic, Kante and Fabregas. That, that really helped. So um, I cannot believe it. I, I told you yesterday, I think whoever wins this game today wins the league. We're winning the league. Uh, not, 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 that we did, not that we didn't say that about two months ago already. But, <laughs> um, you know... I'm saying it again, we're winning this league, we're winning this cup, we're winning bloody everything. We're winning this double because um, this will give us such a massive confidence boost, especially, you know, against Tottenham because it will drop their confidence as well, I think, massively. Um, it's just mental. So it wasn't an easy game. Like I said, Tottenham were the better team overall, definitely. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Um, but we won and we won 4-2. I'm very happy about it because it shuts them up. Um, you know, it tells them who's boss in London because it's definitely not them. London's definitely not white. It's even less so red. Um, it's just blue. London is just blue. And, um, you know, I'm bloody loving it. I'm very sad that I didn't, you know, um, manage to go to the game. But I'm going to the final. So that's why I was even more so hoping that we win today. Because um, if not, obviously couldn't have gone to the final, could I? So um, I'm, I, I'm buzzing. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments section below. How good was that? Not the performance, but the result. Um, you know, but leave me all of your thoughts on the performance as well, obviously. Um, again, I don't really know why um, Antonio Conte dropped, especially Hazard. Maybe he was carrying a knock and wasn't 100% fit. I'm not 100% sure. But he seemed completely fine when he came on. So, yeah. Uh, just a quick thing I want to mention. Midway through th um, during the first half, you remember when um, Arsenal fans, away when they played, I can't remember who they played away, but they played someone away and there are two banners flying after, you know, pulled by a plane saying Wenger in and Wenger out. We just had a plane today. Pulling a, a banner saying Antonio, Antonio. And I bloody loved it. We love the guy. It, it's getting... Lit. We've never done that for Jose. I mean, we probably wouldn't have done that if Arsenal didn't do their thing. Because, you know, obviously sparked the idea, I guess. But we're getting to this stage where we love Conte at least as much as we did Mourinho. Um, obviously, he hasn't won as much yet. He hasn't won anything yet. Um, but if he, he stays around for a while and he keeps winning things, we're going to love him more than we ever loved Jose. And um, I'm bloody excited. Again, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you know, there will be fan cams out. There will be loads of stuff out. We're all buzzing. We're all buzzing out after that. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Um, you know, up the chills, upwards and onwards. We're going to Wembley again. We're going to the final. We're going to win the league. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.